If the DPP-4 inhibitors, it's a type of medicine, have beneficial effects on cognitive outcome in diabetic, Alzheimer's disease-related patients. The DPP-4 inhibitors are a class of anti-diabetes drugs, not anti-Alzheimer's drugs. So here's the article. It's in Neurology Magazine. It was August 11th of this year, just a few weeks ago. Association of Diapeptidase 4 Inhibitor Use and Amyloid Burden in Diabetic Patients with Alzheimer's Disease-Related Cognitive Impairment. So what did they do? They included 282 Alzheimer's patients with cognitive impairment and positive amyloid PET scans. So what they did, they reviewed the clinical records of patients that met the NIA, National Institute of Aging, Alzheimer's Association criteria for probable, prodromal, meaning early, or preclinical, meaning you may have it, but it's not crystal clear yet, Alzheimer's dementia, and had positive amyloid using a type of scanning called PET scan imaging. And here's some PET scans here. And as you can see, dramatic differences. These orange areas are where you have significant activity and you see smaller and smaller areas of activity functioning with less and less of your brain. A battery of standardized neuropsychological battery tests at baseline and two MMSEs, also another cognitive test, with a one-year interval were performed. Patients were classified in three groups, diabetic patients treated with or without the DPP-4 inhibitors and non-diabetic patients. DPP-4 inhibitor group had lower global amyloid burden than the people that weren't using the DPP-4 inhibitors and the non-diabetic groups. So the DPP-4 inhibitor group had lower regional amyloid burden in the areas where you tend to see this problem. And again, you see normal and then you see the Alzheimer's condition. Significant differences, lots of amyloid here, insulin degrading enzymes. So again, very, very different metabolic pathways within the brain. So their conclusion was intriguing results regarding the DPP-4 inhibitor use. It's associated with reduced PET scan amyloid burden and with slower cognitive decline. So the findings obviously suggest that managing insulin resistance, diabetes, with that class of medications actually provides an improvement, not only diabetes, but Alzheimer's.